Well, hello everyone. We have some breaking news. Universal has finally made a statement about their Halloween celebrations. Yes. So, we're just going to read what they have. Now, it was not an official press release yet. Okay. So, this was on um, their Facebook page. Mm -hmm. For annual pass holders. Yes, the annual pass holder Facebook page. So, yeah. let's just start telling you what they gave us. <laughs> so, it's called right now a Halloween seasonal experience testing. Nice. And that is September 19th through September 20th, okay. 2020. So, this weekend coming up. Right. So, it said testing. Exactly. So, they just want to test it out, make sure everything's going to be copacetic. Right. Test it out on us uh, annual pass holders. Get all the kinks worked out. I like it. Well, the thing is, we'll get into that. I don't... I don't know if it's just for pass holders. Let me read this. I'll let you Perfect. know. Exactly. There is a pass holder preview. Right. Which might have confused me. Yes, I think so. Okay. The 18th. And see, I'm, you're skipping all ahead here on me. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm excited. We're, I can't we're help breaking it. in live. Breaking in. <laughs> via tape delay. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get okay. to it. So hold that thought. Gotcha. So September 19th and 20th is the Halloween celebration weekend. Okay. Okay. Got it. It's time to start screaming with fiendish delight. Because you can still get your fright fix this weekend with Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Awesome. We said it would be Tooth Fairy. Yes, you did. Yes. And Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Again, we said it would be a bride's house. Yes. Ha mm -hmm. ha. Uh, you can take... Uh, here's some other things going on. Okay. So that's the haunted houses. Mm -hmm. And then also at Islands of Adventure, they're doing something. Oh, wait, what? Yes. No. You, <laughs> well... Probably not for you. Oh. <laughs> you can take your kids 12 and under trick-or-treating in Islands of Adventure. No way. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can get all dressed up in costumes throughout the resort um, to get your sinister spirit of the season. That's awesome. So, a little bit of costuming. Um, I need to borrow a kid. But, I will say this. <laughs> I will say this. You need to check their costume guidelines. Right. You know, before you go getting all dressed up as something. Gotcha. So there's that. So let me describe the houses that they have for us. Um, let's start with The Bride of Frankenstein. Can I read that one? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to read that one. All right, let me get my glass. All right. So Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. We belong dead. The last words of Frankenstein's monster on that fateful night when his bride rejected him. But his end was only her beginning. Now the bride is stepping out of the shadows to bring him back. And there's nothing she won't do as she sharpens her brilliance by experimenting on unsuspecting victims. I get more, like, dramatic <laughs> as I'm reading. Um, the Let's see. The mate will have her monster, and the monster will have his mate. Dun, dun, dun. That's exciting. It is. I got goosebumps, man. One of our favorite houses was it last year. Yes. Was the monster's house. Yes. And I swear to God, every time, like, I, I, I probably went through that house like five times. And uh, the Bride of Frankenstein got me. She did. Every single did. time I left that house. So now she has her own house. Yes. I love it. Okay. I'll do the yes, uh, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. All right. The innocent traditions of the Tooth Fairy hide a darker ritual. Ooh. All children must give up their baby teeth to the goblin-esque tooth fairies or pay a gruesome price. Step into an old manor that has been overrun by yellow-clawed fiends who extract teeth by force. Ooh, ow. <laughs> it's an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> uh, so that's how they describe that one. Nice. And they do have a warning here that okay. haunted houses may be too intense for young children and are not recommended for children under the age of 13. No costume masks are allowed. Gotcha. So, don't be wearing that uh, hockey mask, I guess. <laughs> uh, a little more about the costuming. Okay. It says costumes are optional, but totally encouraged. Ooh. So, get in the sinister spirit of the season by dressing up when you visit Universal Studios Florida and Universal's Islands of Adventure this weekend. Go creepy, classic, or as your favorite character. Uh, I got to think quickly. What am I going to be? <laughs> Again, there are guidelines. So right. perhaps in the description, I'll leave a link so you can check out the guidelines. That's the best way to do it. So now, the trick-or-treating aspect at Islands of Adventure. Grab a free... You want to read this one? Sure. I, I don't want to hog the, uh, the screen from you. Hog the mic there, yeah. buddy. All right, so grab a free ticket. Wait, hold on. You are right. Yeah. Okay. Let's start over. Trick-or-treating at Islands of Adventure. Awesome. Okay, so I get to do this part. 
grab a free trick-or-treat bag for your little one and go door-to-door -door collecting tasty treats from participating retail stores this weekend. But first, you've got to find them. Um, keep a lookout for pumpkin stickers marking each location. Okay. Oh, this is so fun! Cool. Oh my goodness, so this experience is for guests 12, years 12 of age and younger, um, who must be with an adult to participate, one trick-or-treat bag per guest, and one fill per, per participating yes. location. Yes. <laughs> Oh, one handful bad. per location. Yeah. Don't be this going back to the same one. Dude, I'm so excited. So that's what's happening this weekend gotcha. on the 19th and the 20th, this uh, Saturday and Sunday. Love it. Now, there is a premier pass holder preview. Right, which I'm not. I'm not either. I think I'll be upgrading. <laughs> I know. It's on a Friday. Oh, goodness. So. Here so, we go. We've been thinking about it for a while anyways. Yeah, I have been. I've been yeah. missing like uh, the special parking. <laughs> you have. So spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> so the premier pass holder preview is September 18th, 2020. So we invite our premier pass holders to be among the very first to experience the haunted houses on Friday, September 18th. Please note, no costumes or costume masks are allowed during the preview. Okay, I'm jealous. Now here's the details of the preview. I gave you the, uh, the day, Friday, September 18th. From 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Um, you select your entry time or that time at registration. So I guess there's a time for you to pick what, when you want to go through the houses. Okay. That's how I read that. Uh, this is at Universal Studios. Registration is required. Right. You must be an active Premier Pass holder and 18 or older to register online for one event arrival. Gotcha. Uh, the registration opens up on Wednesday, September 16th mm -hmm. at noon. Right. So this Wednesday, oh boy. it's going to be a mad rush on the phone. It will be. For everybody trying, who's a premier pass holder to try and get that spot. That does make me nervous. Anytime I've tried to sign up for something for Universal. You should uh, make me do it. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it from work. <laughs> <laughs> so that does make me a little nervous. Right. Like, what time? Um, at noon. On at Wednesday. noon. Okay. Yeah. That's lunchtime. So, I can swing it. Duplicate reservations will be canceled. Okay. Uh, space is limited. The online uh, space is limited, and the online reservations are required. First come, first serve. Right. Again, that is what makes me nervous. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and they do have one more important thing to note. What okay. is that? Due to limited capacity, we cannot accommodate non-registered Premier Pass holders. So that's me, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not Premier. Um, no guests will be allowed, and there will not be a standby line at either of the houses. That's on Friday for the Premier. Exactly. So check back Wednesday, September 16th at noon to register. So I believe the weekend is open for any daytime guests. That's the way I read it. Right. Mm -hmm. I um, thought I saw from Orlando Informer that it's going to be virtual line. Right, right. That right. when the weekend opens up and it opens up to park guests, um, it doesn't matter what level pass you have or if you're just a day guest, um, but you will need to have a virtual line. That so makes have, sense. So have the app updated. Mm -hmm. Because that way they can control the numbers better with exactly. virtual lines. So Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So a lot of what we've been talking about in the past couple of weeks has come true. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I put myself out there. A couple do. weeks ago, wasn't it? Yes, and you get some heat for for it too. I do. Like there's yeah, there's a lot of people that are like, "You're full of it. This is <laughs> this is clickbait," but it's true. So the interesting from this, what we saw on um, Facebook, they're only mentioning this weekend. Yes, and it does say what's the wording here? Halloween seasonal experience testing. Right. So, like I said, I think they're just going to test it out this weekend, uh -huh. and I'm sure. We're all going to do great. It's going to go well, and they'll expand it out to more weekends. And then perhaps now this is we're getting into rumor territory right now. Yeah, sound the alarm. Rumor alert. <laughs> From this point on, I'm speculating. Okay. It goes well this weekend. Yes. They add more weekends. Yes. And perhaps they add uh, midweek. Some, yeah, some weekday stuff would yeah. be great too. Oh my goodness. So this is so exciting. It is. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And like I said before in a video, I think it's brilliant by Universal to do this. Uh, yes. Because if they open up during the day for daytime guests, mm -hmm. people who normally maybe would not go to Halloween Horror Nights right. will have hopefully an opportunity to go through 
these two houses. Yes. Love it. Get hooked on it and uh, start buying HHN tickets in the future. Because seriously, that's if this was the case for me, I would have definitely mm -hmm. gone through a house first and then had fallen in love with it. Because I think HHN always scared me in previous years yeah. um, before we started going regularly um, because it was just overwhelming, I thought. But now it's like my favorite event. So awesome. So if you're even on the fence about going, do it. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I'm going to try. Now, I downgraded my pass. I'm no longer a premier. <laughs> Typical. But I guess I will, I guess I'll upgrade. Yes. What happens if I upgrade and then I can't get in? That's going to be a bummer. Well, then you get, you, you get your good parking. Yeah, I guess so. You know. Uh, so I will attempt to be there on Friday. Yes. If not, I'll be there on Saturday. With me. And we don't know. They didn't give hours for the weekend. Like, if I am, right. I'm assuming it's going to start like at one on uh, Saturday and Sunday. But we'll see. Yeah. I'm still waiting for an official press release. Exactly. But that's what they have on their Facebook page. So exciting. And I'll leave a link Love to everything. It. So, um, you know, I gave you all the information. We read it to you practically. Yeah. But I'll leave a link to it so you can see for yourselves. Yeah. And then as more information comes in, we'll break in with more news like this. Yes, we will. Yeah. So with all that being said. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the scares. Right on. <laughs> Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, it's time to relax.